I'm Stacy from Kids Learning for Life, and today I want to share with you the top websites that I use in my homeschool with my children that are educational and kid approved. There are lots of different websites out there that claim they're educational or they're for kids, but some of them are just packed full of ads and your kid's always getting into some other place or they're just not as educational as they say they are. I have spent a lot of time looking through lots of different websites and having my kids test them out to see if it's quality content that keeps their interest and also provides some sort of educational value for them. All right, let's dive in with my first recommendation of Starfall. Starfall is aimed at children in pre-K through third grade. Now, the first thing I wanna mention about this website is that it's not completely free. There are a lot of free activities, but most are grayed out and you cannot access them unless you purchase the subscription. I'm still including this on my list because I have my boys use it without the subscription and they still love going on there and playing with the activities that they do have access to. I also like that this app covers a variety of topics, the reading, math, science, and social studies. The next website I recommend is Scratch. Now, if you watched my favorite apps video, then you know that Scratch Junior was one of my favorites there. And Scratch is no different. Scratch uses simple block coding so that your children can understand coding and be able to create um, anything from just a simple little cartoon to a story to even their own video game. The Scratch website has its own area of tutorials so that your children can follow along and start learning how to code. This website is aimed for children between the ages of eight and 16 years old. If you have a younger student, then I would recommend that you look over the material first and kind of get a basic understanding of how to use it. That way, when your child gets stumped or doesn't know how to do something, you can step in and help a little bit. The next website we use is called Fun Brain Junior. I love the cleanness of this website and it's geared for kids in pre-K through first grade. This is one of those websites that doesn't have any ads that your kid's gonna click and get into the wrong area and the games are somewhat educational. They have educational concepts but I wouldn't say that your kid's gonna you know, become a genius by playing these games. They have simple um, letter and number recognition and games like that but nothing that's going, it's not a full curriculum. Next, I wanna talk about NASA for kids. NASA for Kids has a little space station area where kids can go in, find books and videos and games that all relate to space. The only downside I have to this website is while I really enjoy the videos that they have on the website, the videos take the student directly to YouTube. And so if they're watching a video that NASA has created about the Mars rover, it takes them over to YouTube and then they've got all of these suggested videos that also look really cool and most of them are probably great videos, but they're just YouTube videos so you never know what you're gonna get, especially with kids. So I really wish that NASA would embed these videos directly onto their site instead of sending kids to YouTube. So this is one that if my kids wanna use it, I'm sitting there to make sure that they're you know, just watching the one video and then going back and picking another one from NASA's library. One thing I was really looking for in a website was something that covered the science and social studies areas. I have only started recently using Nat Geo for kids and I'm finding it very fun so far. It has a bunch of cute videos and some activities that kids can do and it does focus on those science and social studies areas. So far my kids are liking the material and I do find that it is educational. Another free website that I have my kids use is Typing Club. Now, if kids are gonna be using the computer, they should probably be learning how to type as well. Typing Club provides a curriculum that is from the kindergarten level all the way through adults. The curriculum for younger kids focuses on one letter at a time with letter recognition and figuring out where it is on the keyboard. The levels progress and there's another program that you could start out a little bit older kids on where it starts with the home row and does um, practice with those letters and then moves on through the rest of the keys. I love Typing Club because it's free, easy to use, and a very clean looking website. The last website that I love to use in my homeschool is called Tinkercad. Now this is CAD, which is the 3D modeling on a computer made simple for kids. Now I know it sounds complicated and it kind of freaked me out a little bit at first too, but it's really cool and kids, I would recommend this for kids through third grade on up. Tinkercad allows children to easily make 
figures and models on the computer, which they can then either send to a 3D printer, which I don't have a 3D printer, but I have noticed a lot of libraries and even sometimes schools um, will have access to a 3D printer that you can use for free. If you don't like the 3D printer option, then you can also change the design on the computer to put itself into brick mode. And this basically makes it look like Legos. And so it'll show you what Legos you would need to build the design that you created on the computer. It also has Minecraft mode or block mode, I think is what it's called. And this mode allows you to take your creation and put it into blocks so that you could then use that to build in Minecraft. Tinkercad even has step-by-step -step instruction lessons where it shows you exactly what to do and then you would do it and follow along. And so that is one thing that I started playing around with when I was looking at this program for my kids. And it was actually pretty simple. So those are my top seven free websites for kids that we use in our homeschool. I wanted to take a second to just make a couple of honorable mentions. These websites are not free, but they do all provide a 30 day free trial. These honorable mentions are the Reading Eggs, Express, and Math Seeds Company, ABC Mouse, and Epic Books for Kids. ABC Mouse is considered a complete online curriculum that offers a free 30 day trial and can also be used free by teachers. Reading Eggs and Math Seeds are a full reading and math curriculum and you can again try this out for 30 days for free. Lastly, there's Epic Books for Kids that you have access to a full library of books. Some are just books, others will read to you, and some are even audiobooks. You can try this out for free for 30 days, or you can get it for free for your students if you're a teacher. If you want me to go into more detail on these honorable mentions, let me know in the comments below, and I can probably make a video coming up pretty soon. Have you tried any of these websites? Or which website are you most excited to try out? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more homeschool content just like this. See you next time.